Oh my god. Uh, Thank well, you. Just, Thank yeah, you. thanks for having us. We're gonna go of course. Thank you. Showcasing. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, Char's already up. Okay. 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 Let's go. Have fun with the cars. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Bye. Oh, we are live on stream. Hello. No worries. I'm going to uh, swap you over real quick. Goodbye. Uh, All right. <laughs> Hello, gamers. Let me know when we're ready to start. Oh yes, right. Okay, All we're right. just jumping right. In. Okay, there's a there's a couple of things that Let me know we need to make sure that stuff. the uh, oh yes language right. barrier. Okay, we're I just believe we right were. Okay, there's yeah, a, it, there's it a couple hasn't things changed. It's Spanish. We need to make yep. sure that. Cool. But the general structure of run is there's 50 story missions throughout the run, but you have to like complete certain tasks. Well, 50 is debatable, but not going to go into that. Yeah. yeah, it's debatable whether this first mission is a story mission, but yeah. Oh. So one basic piece of tech you'll see immediately is I jump on my car whenever I enter it. Basically this skips the animation of Homer opening the door and getting inside. So unless you're directly next to the car and the door's already open, it saves time to do that every time. There's the first mission done. So that right there is a mission warp, basically you can use a menu to warp to the start of each mission. Saves quite a bit over the course of the run. One thing you may notice is I'm switching the camera around a lot. This is entirely preference, first or third person. Doesn't affect the run much at all. I just find it easier to take good lines sometimes. There's one other quite important thing to do with the camera, which is uh, if you can like move your camera back and you can like despawn traffic and pedestrians and also, yeah, just get them out of your way. Yeah. It's used a lot throughout. One thing you may notice is I, I am picking up coins, if you want to explain what those are for. Yes, yeah, so along with completing all the missions, uh, there are 13 requirements, is it 13? Yeah. No, it's 10 requirements. There are there are 10 missions that require you to either buy a costume or a car, and they all like, require coins, and the coins increase as the game goes along. So the first, so the first mission that we'll need coins for is Office Space, which is the mission after this one, where we'll need to buy the Plow King for 150. And so you've got to have a good balance between Despite doing the missions down. fast mm, okay. and also like collecting enough coins along the way. Yeah, we've put a lot of work into routing the coins in this game. We have like a giant spreadsheet with every major coin spot in the game and like how many coins you get versus the seconds it takes. Right now you roughly need something to be 7 coins per second to be fast, which kind of shows how optimised the game is. I think it's over the course of an ASM run. I think you need 3,625. It's around that, yeah. yeah. Which is a lot of coins. The 100% category of this game, you need around 15,000 coins. Yeah. 100% has. Is... A... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thing is also about the game is that the game doesn't give you enough coins to be able to 100% it. And the intended way for you to get more coins is to complete wager races, which means you have to do a whole lap of the of each map 
and you'll get a payout. But the Wii's an exploit in part 2 where there's a room full of boxes and vents and we kick them all twice and if you need the mission warp or despawn those boxes by like, driving away really far, they refill and you can kick them all over and over again to just regenerate coins. Yeah. So we we do that for about 20 minutes in a 100% run. Which is fun. <laughs> Home mods are pretty basic tutorial levels, so you just have like one of each major type of mission. Coming up here is uh, the first destruction mission of the run, so you have a car you need to destroy. But first, we have our first purchase of the run. Bloody <laughs> push wrappers and attempt. <laughs> Ideally, I push Lani all the way over to Barney and just skip this walk, but oh well, it's fine. So it's like a second if you get it. Perfectly. Now here, if the game wants us to use the Plow King, I'm not going to. On, at top level once you will actually see the Plow King, but it's a bit harder and overall, with the frame rate I'm playing on, this is faster overall. Yeah, the frame rate is very important. So, Vapor is playing on 60 at the moment. Yeah. Which is like a really good, if you're just getting into this game, it's a really good frame to start it. It's like, it's what the game is meant to run on, see. But the top level run is, you'll see playing on frame rates from 150 to 180 to 200. Okay, I got some of this in. Yeah. Most destruction missions, you'll see us find a way to trap the car. Just get dealt with as soon as possible. Oh, That's pretty decent. So this is pretty unique in that it's entirely on foot and I'm going to be using this as an opportunity to show the cool glitch. Basically if you focus your camera up in the air and zoom in, you can basically walk on air. So I'll be showing off this route using it. <laughs> yeah, you see that big gap that I'm about to cross. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> I hit a bit of a wall there. There's another small one here. But, whoops, okay. I tried. <laughs> yeah, this it's not used a lot in ASM, it's used a little bit more in 100%. Yeah. yeah, that's its main use in ASM, is to make this mission a bit faster. Yeah. Otherwise you'd just go the other way around, and you have, then you have to deal with like lift cycles. Yeah. You know with that mission, normally the cycles, like if you mess up one cycle, that's three seconds right there, which is a bit annoying. This is one of the few and skippable cutscenes in the run. You can probably squeeze in a quick donation. And I got one. I have a $40 donation from uh, Kadra saying $20 for a dog pet? I'll take two. That's just good value, honestly. Very nice. Oh, okay. yeah, so this is the first dog skip cutscene. The second one is in March. There's three other cutscenes in the run. There's one in, at the end of Bot 1, Apu, and Bot 2, and they are all skippable. What is the difference between this and this set? So. The true end. so this game, if you fail a mission enough times, you get a skip option. But and but also if you restart a mission, it counts as a fail. So for any percent for certain missions, we restart them six times, and then we fail it, and then we skip it. So, and this helps with getting like really long missions done quickly. Like there's some like three four minute splits in the run, and we can just cut them down to like 30, 40 seconds. 
Yeah. Oh, so this is the first follow mission of the run. Follow missions in this game, especially in the early game, have pretty heavy rubber banding, so the closer I am to this van, the faster it goes. Another key thing is that if I look back, follow missions drive better. So I look back here to prevent it from hitting the barn. Another key thing is that I said it goes faster. Usually I want to use this to my advantage, but also I need to slow down here, because if I if I let this van go full speed, he will hit the wall at the bottom here and that loses a few seconds. Yeah. Worked well there. So these missions are like kind of auto scholars, but they're still pretty fun to optimize. So here's a cool thing called enter skip storage. Basically, if I press the change camera button after I select the car from a phone booth, I get an option to skip camera pans. So there's like little zoom ins when I enter a new mission. As you can see, enter skip, and I can skip it. Well, in English it says enter skip. <laughs> This trip was found by accident by Baker Man 12 and it saves around 20 seconds in SM, yep. maybe a bit more. 20 to 30. So this is a hit and collect mission, basically I hit this truck 10 times, get 10 drops. This one's kind of unique and that most other missions we kind of trap a follow truck, however this one happens to be heading in the same direction we want to go. So we just like get the drops on the way. But I think I might be getting all before the shortcut. Not as close enough. Oh, please. Yeah. Kind of just aim to get it all before there to avoid having to drive around. Yeah, that's decent enough brainstorm. You may notice like some missions are forced car missions, so the game like puts it into a certain car and we have to play it. This is Marge's car, which you'll see more in a few levels time. Yeah. It's like if you try to get out of this car and get in another car, you just fail instantly. Yeah. So this is a pretty infamous mission, because like, it's a large race around the map, however, we can pretty simply skip it if we reverse into the store and reset our car, which spawns us in a spawn point inside the door. We just reverse skip the entire race. If this is one of those, like, uh, one of those more well-known skips, like if you're a kid looking up Simpsons and run cheats, you'd find like some way to skip this race. You completely read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the old strat used to be to push Carl through the doorway, and then that reset was found. And this saves around, like, a minute and a half to two minutes, so we're doing the race intentionally. A minute, roughly. That's a minute, okay. It saves a lot. Yeah. So now I'm done with home more and entering bunk one. One common theme you'll see, like, as I get further through the game, the cars get faster. So this car is faster than Homer's car from the previous level. But ironically, it is also the worst car in the entire level. Yeah. Apart from maybe the model rail secret car. Yeah. Yeah. So say, if you evade mission, I have to avoid Skinner. However, if I let him hit me from behind, he just gets confused and drives away. It's a pretty simple way to beat it. If you don't do that, this mission can really suck and just follow you, even if you're using the fastest cars. Glad I evaded him there. There's, yeah, there's an easy backup if Skinner's follows. Like you can enter the DMV. And think about interiors in this game. They're on the map. They are just incredibly far out of bounds. So you just lose the person who's following you instantly. Yeah. So one thing you'll notice here is I am ditching the honor roller. This is for a few reasons. Firstly, it is the slowest car in this level. Every traffic car is at least as fast, if not notably faster. And second of all is the animations. Like, these traffic cars don't have the animation of exiting and entering the car, you just warp out instantly, which saves a lot, especially for a mission like this, where you're getting in and out of the car a lot. Yeah. Yeah, ideally, we want the sports car, but taxi's second best. Yeah. 
Lo siento, va. Other than that, this mission is just do it as fast as possible. There's not really any strats or anything. Yeah. Apart from maybe the ending. Yeah. Just an escape at the end. One thing you may notice is that like, random objects like crusty glass and trees add up. I'd be aiming to a lot of those throughout the run since those are a pretty important part of the coin bar. Along with just like boxes and wasps, which are the big sources. Traffic on this turn is really bad. Nailed up there. So here's where we can escape. It's pretty hard casually, but you can kind of just drive on the left side of the road and it works every time. Yeah. The variations in this game. There's one where you can like drive to the left and circle the sit rotate. Or well, there's the most like ballsy one, which is you just go straight to the right to where you start this mission. And hopefully escape. That escape was found by someone in chat right now called Being of Universe. And uh, it's notoriously difficult. <laughs> yeah. So this is a race mission. It's actually pretty difficult. The car here is really fast to this push to the game. And it's pretty decent at driving. So it can be kind of hard casually. I'm still going to use this to get coins though. Because this happens to be the fastest place. There's one other thing I noticed that earlier in the mission, and also here at the hospital, so that Vapo destroyed a wasp with his car. In each level, apart from level 1 and level 3, you're able to hit two wasps with your car, and once you've done that, they'll lose their collision. Yeah. The more complicated explanation is basically each level has two wasp axes, which you teleport around the map when you spawn a wasp, and when you kill a a wasp, its actor is marked as dead, so it loses its collision. And there's only two ways to reset that collision. Mm. This is another follow mission, there's not really yeah, much going on here, you can probably squeeze on a donation. I just want to remind everybody, some people that popped in, that we do have a milestone for Tunic Any% percent by Oddbot if we reach $1,500. So if you want to both Pet Cerberus in the Hades race, and also see Tunic Any% percent, then we gotta get some $20 donations in to get some pets. I was actually planning on getting some wasps there, but the Black Event took a fast route, it usually doesn't, so I couldn't get those. It's fine with the backup. The behavior of the Black Van is weird and switched. We usually want it to go right at most, which means we can pick up a few extra wasps hey, slightly faster. Although the left way is used, is actually technically faster. However, if you go to the left, there's a very likely chance that you can like, get confused in the train yard, and like, turn into a train and get stuck. Yeah, we did like, really try that today, which is weird. Mm. I had the exact same thing in practice yesterday, which is weird. <laughs> So this is enough of a race, we're going to cheese by going backwards. But there's a reset to the right, however, we're going to be attempting a highway jump. If I just drive a bit further, and then angle myself right from leaving this area. That's fine too, and you just skip the highway. Saves a few seconds over being crazy that way. And Snake is very far behind now. <laughs> in 100% we've even had Rautro pick up a huge amount of coins and still beat him. So this is the first main menu up of the run. As we said earlier with wasps, their collision runs out. And this is one way to reset that collision. So now I can get two more wasps hey, with my car. Which I'm gonna use on the wasps I missed last mission. Yeah. 
I'm not 100% sure about when the May Many Walking was discovered, but it's like complete. It like completely changed coin routing and everything because you're able to get so many more wasps with your car and everything. Yeah, it was like early 2018. Yeah. So a while now. Mm. Oh, don't look at the coin count. I will see players in chat. Yeah, we do have one category in this game which, like, doesn't allow you to We have a category called No Mission Warps, which both bans the use of Main Many Warps and also bans the use of the Mission Select feature, which means you have to drive to every mission as well. As it makes it, makes it a little more interesting to run. Like, it's more intended ASM, in a way. It's very casual, <laughs> like, more driving-focused. Mm. Pretty short category. Obviously, it's got a few um, NMW-specific strats also. Like a different way of saying, like there's some out of bounds in Bot 2 that you can do. Yeah. There's a cool strat where you <laughs> jump over a fence with the canyon arrow. So this is a escape against that thing. I actually might be failing against that traffic car. Okay, back in time. Uh, please, drive in. Okay. If I let Apu drive into a fountain, I can man escape him. He gets trapped. Okay, nice. This is another main manual, because the next mission has a lot of wasps. I want to get as many of those as possible. Back to the honor roll for like two seconds of driving before we ditch it again. Yeah. So here's a never purchase and missed the plow. This is a pretty decent car overall. It's like mm. similar speed to the traffic cars in this level. For me, Chachi. Shout out to the music in this mission. So this is Monkey Z, we have 30 different monkeys to collect. This has gone through a few routing changes over the years, but now we have a pretty set on route. Just kind of collect the monkeys. That museum watch is really inconsistent, but there's like so many in this mission it doesn't really matter. Yep, I craft one, and then I should get the wasp here. Oh, unfortunate. It's fine, there's a backup as well. And this construction box kind of sucks to get. Okay. That's another FPS thing, like I mentioned earlier. If I was on high FPS, I would likely overshoot that. Only it it's really hard to control your jump high to get that. I'm gonna get out of my car for one wasp because it's still like decently fast and I want to play it a bit safe. But this should be a freebie by the actor. Yeah. Did he see Vapo? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shout out to Draw Route. <laughs> this is. This ending was discovered by a new runner called Jaw. Just like did this one day and it was faster. Mm -hmm. Going on the other side. Claims to have not discovered it himself, but he's the first person that like, probably also did it. And yeah, ended up being like half a second faster. Yeah. But as a side effect to be playing in Spanish, the phone booths are a different order because they go by alphabetical. I messed that up. So this is, I think, a contender for the hardest mission in the game. We have a few cars to destroy, they're all pretty difficult, and they can snowball really quickly. Like, if I mess up one, my entry to the other will be messed up. They can lose a lot of time. It's certainly the, the hardest mission in like, the first two or three levels. Yeah, by far. And just generally, I, I find destruction missions are the hardest missions. Yeah. 
This is the main car, and if I mess this up, I can lose a lot of time. Yeah, the language affects the order of cars on the phone booth, so in certain languages, you'll actually have to do either more or fewer inputs to call cars. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Oh, uh... Hopefully I can get this on the set and rotate. Okay, yeah. Yeah, about, yeah, there is a crash that happens in the observatory on the Spanish version. There's a gag that plays at the far window, and if you get the gag, there's one gag that's broken on Spanish, and if you get that gag, the game crashes. But thankfully we have a fix for it, which Vapor is using today. Yeah. Come, come. Yeah, coming up here is a cutscene to get the first one of the run. Basically, there's a small window in between the mission ending and the cutscene starting. If I pause them out, I can skip the cutscene. It's pretty tight, but hopefully I get Mini. it. Nice. Got it. Very nice. But it's also affected by frame rate, so the lower your FPS, the bigger that window is. So it's pretty lenient on 60, but it's still a big time save, so I want to focus on it. So this is another race against the nerd car, however this one is actually notably slower than one in bar one. It's kind of weird. It's also a lot easier than the one in bar one, because you can get ahead of the nerd car so much, so much faster. Yeah. There's a lot more shortcuts that the nerd cut doesn't take. Hey, this is Lisa's level we're playing as her now. Basically, in the cutscene, I skipped a bar got abducted by aliens. So that's the plot now. Lisa's trying to find him. Yeah, this game sure has a plot. One thing you'll see a lot throughout the level is this log, it's on a constant global cycle and I like have to constantly pay attention to it to see what cycle I'm on. There's also a little tiny pixel in the arm, and if you're unlucky enough to hit that your car gets just sent gets sent flying. Yeah. It's pretty rare on 60. <laughs> So, yes, that's it. I have a few donations if there is time. Sure. Sure. Nice. I have a $5 donation from Being saying, Hi, Vapo. Hi, Being. <laughs> and I have a $30 donation from Keita Latte saying, Let's pet the hecking doggo. Thank you for your donation. Uh, we are actually $2.80 away from a fourth pet for Cerberus, so if we want to see a couple more pets for that dog. It's a good cause. You, you know what to do. It's a nice little patch of coins. This mission has gone through a lot of coin matchings over the years. There's multiple big mm. patches of coins which have been routed in and out several times. There's also, this is another mission that's actually affected by FPS, because there's a trick you can do. Instead of going through the shortcut on the boat, there's a pole to the left, which on high FPS you can hit, and you'll hit a void, which is on the boat, and you'll end up on the boat. And there's a couple of boxes you can pick up there. Yeah. On 60 though, it's very, very unreliable and not worth going for. No house dived off the cliff. There's also at Crusty Studios and actually bought two. There's a room full of coins. That room also exists in Lisa, and it's a nice patch of coins to get as well. But it's also fairly. fairly it's about 20 seconds, 25 seconds to pick up. Yeah. This is in the hidden collect mission, but I will be trapping fingers here. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is like the easiest one to run. 
Bendito impulso hacia adelante. Probably the simplest, like, major strat in the grand battle. And you can't make them Like, chasing Clintus around is really annoying. It's similar in a way to Bloodstone, because Clintus is heading towards where you need to go, but the chances of getting all 15 drops before the observatory and in a fast time is not realistic. Yeah. So this is the observatory, this has the crash boost is mentioning. If I wasn't using a fix here, there would be a chance of crashing the game. <laughs> Like, frankly, though, is there a second for Spanish on the bid wall? Yeah. We have a runner called Baker Man who's in the past attempted to get the any percent world record on Spanish, but without using the fix, and let's say has had a fair number of runs die to this crash. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna hopefully be showing off a little magic trick. Nice. So basically, there's a mofa, and usually you can just warp. If you walk into it, it warps you out. However, if you can cancel the animation of it warping you with the animation of getting out of a traffic car, and just save a small bit. That's another nice bit of coins. And restart the mission, because it starts here. This is another destruction mission, like sellouts. Like multiple cars it can go pretty poorly. Oh yeah, you just bought the school bus. Pretty good car. I'm gonna use it a few times in this level. Yeah, it's very good at destroying things. Can we get to this second car? It is kind of luck based. It can either turn left or right, and if it turns the wrong way, you can gotta get owned. Just hope it turns to my left. But it's not good. Oh yeah, the result to crash. There's a one in four chance to leave that, but it's also it's a 50-50 chance in part two. So there's fewer gags. Okay, that's fine. Here there's a cool little reset I can do to put me behind the third car, which sets up a better spot for killing it. Necesito velocidad, más velocidad. Tienes un don para la velocidad. Perdón. Oh no. And Grand Pound to kill the car. Está vacío. Listo es very strong. ¿Qué está pasando en la ciudad? Necesito. Perdone. Do you want to go into the manipulation here? Yeah. Okay, so... This mission, well, to start with this, this mission is a pain. Snake can sometimes drive really good. Or sometimes he can like, just drive really bad. And the first two drops, I've not used that bad, but the third drop... So once Snake passes a point, he's on a like a 5 to 10 second timer, and he can drop it anywhere in that time frame. It's like once he passes the arcade to when he reaches the observatory, he can drop it anywhere. Ideally, the earlier the better. And there's... There's a few, like, back, there's a few minutes you can do this one here. I tried it. Try and... Yeah. What I could try to do is get ahead of Snake to slow him down, because he will eventually drop the item. It's not location-based, it's time-based. Hopefully we've got a good drop, though. Yeah. But yeah, if if we got a late drop, then would have dropped over the other side of the bridge, and we'd have to drive all the way back round. Which loses a lot of time. Yeah. You sleep really hard, aren't you? There's another minute you can do, which is you hang back, because it'll slow you snake down, because this is another mission with rubber banding. It slows snake down just a little bit, and it gives you a better chance of getting an earlier drop. It's obviously still not completely consistent, though. Oh my god, my house was. <laughs> Let's go. I have been going for three beats for our front, but it's a very bad one. Probably the most I'm alive on the route. Yes, my coins are really good now, actually. 
I like instantly kind of turned to a coin some average to really good. Mm. I mentioned earlier about the uh, the log that's on a global cycle. The wasp's behavior, like how they move, is also on a global cycle. Like every time that one spawns, like they're always moving the same way, the same time. This was discovered by Ronald Greeny, and there's now also a GIF. Which is just a red square moving in like a figure eight, and that will tell you like where the wasp is on the cycle. So if you can time it right and get it where the square is right at the bottom, you've got a way, way, way better chance of getting the wasp for free. Yeah. I actually don't have that. I've been too lazy to set it up, but it does help a lot. It does, yeah. It's like help get the 100% time down quite a bit actually with more consistent wasps. I've not used a lot, but uh, so really, a lot of the wasps are fairly consistent. Oh my god. <laughs> Phone booths. So this is probably the hardest individual start I've ever on 60 at least. I have to try and get this limo on the wall in front of me. Ah, um, that is not it. Thankfully, there's a pretty nice backup. If I push the limo into this area... Yeah, he will drive back and forth and keep destroying himself. I'm actually going to use that to get a wasp. Since this is kind of slow. Let me know if there is time for a quick donation. Uh, soon. There's the dollar scholar soon. Gotcha. This is a nice little wall. We're meant to drive onto the boat, however, we can use the collision of this pole. And the height of the school bus to just skip that. I got a wasp on the way. And now we are finishing Gleason. Entering March immediately is too pretty hard to act back to back. First of which, I'm going to be trying to get his neighbors caught into the misfollow section. This is like really tight. That should be fine. Nice, okay, got it. Nice. It saves a few seconds of picking out the plate on, and it sets up a wasp route. Thing. And now, immediately after, this is going to be a hit and collect mission where we have a pretty difficult strat to trap the car. Uh, camera, please. Uh, hopefully now I can guide him in. Nice, that should be good. Yeah. We call this going quiet. Oh, oh. oh no, okay, this is not good. Uh -oh. I might be able to keep like hitting him like this. He's close enough to uh Okay. That works. It's not the fastest, but I get the drops. Yeah, I think the same recall is trying to donut fire. It's like named after bonfire. Like you get a car stuck, you get all the drops. This is Donut Fire. Is there another one? I don't think there is, but I don't think so. It just—it's a nice name. So this is a two-minute follow mission. Now, if you have time for donation, this is a good chance. Heck yeah! I have a forty-dollar donation from Anonymous saying, "Pet the pup at the underworld," and the donation is going towards petting uh, Cerberus in the Hades Three Weapons race coming up. So we greatly appreciate that. That puts us at. $1,209, getting us about $300 away from Tunic Any Percent uh, by Oddbud. 
Nice. You said this was like you said this was like two minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, cause I got some chilling to do. Um, Archithon Three is raising money for Out Youth. Uh, to anyone who is new to the stream, uh, we are raising money for an organization that serves Central Texas LGBTQIA plus youth and their allies with programs and services to ensure that those promising young people develop into happy, healthy, successful adults. They host a variety of programs and services for youth and provide trainings and resources for parents, teachers, and community members. They also have an established a network of therapists who agree to reserve one therapy spot for a low-cost LGBTQ youth or young adult who would not otherwise be able to access LGBTQ-affirming counseling. Uh, if you want to know more about this charity, you can go to www.outyouth.org. You can also do exclamation point charity in the chat or check our Outyouth panel underneath our bio. It's a good cause. Sounds like it. So one thing with lighter follow missions like this, with rubber banding decreases the melee levels. It's still there, but he tends to go much faster even when I'm not right next to him. Which does mean I can get caught into a losing gas much time. <laughs> Finish again. This drop is really RNG. I bet it's really bad. <laughs> That's one of the lightest <laughs> drops I've seen ever. Okay, all the other. Sorry. Yeah, you can go. I say all the other drops, it doesn't really matter where Cletus drops them, but it's the last one that like decides whether the split is really good or not, to be honest. Yeah, I was just gonna say, there's a new out for purchase for this mission. It's the same of a Cletus truck mission, you have to drive this very slow car. <laughs> And it's pretty annoying. Cut of slow cards, especially if you hit a wall, that loses so much more time than later missions. Could you spend so much more time accelerating to normal speed? The common meme of this mission is the song kind of sounds like Tom Jim, it's not unusual. <laughs> Probably like cover that up in the background now. I just want to thank you for getting that song stuck in my head now for the rest of the night. <laughs> it was edits of it, like that song synced to this music. Mm. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Sorry. The coming up here is a pretty annoying reveal. Firstly, this car is so slow I actually need to reverse pretty far back to actually make it over. And second of all, because it's on a global cycle I have to react to where the wheel is. Just try and make it over without getting hit. This is fine. Yeah, I'm, that's good. Little side. Yeah. It always kind of is. Yeah. This is another escape section. This is really trivial. Like, I've never seen someone fail this ever. Neither. Oh, yeah. Don't think of 60 because the physics are pretty stable. I like, have to reset to make it over with higher fire uh, On high FPS, you can just make it over. So now I'm actually going to be ditching Marge's car for Malibu car from last level. Oh. This has the same top speed but slightly better acceleration. Which ends up being a bit faster overall. Since we have a few minutes of driving. Just a very short race mission here. This mission part of the age old debate is what the shortest mission in the game is. Here they saw 6 5. This is longer. 
It is a long split time. So this is, this is a follow mission, pretty infamous for having multiple huge potential time losses. Which I will explain when I reach the car. This is just one of the worst missions in the entire run. Okay, see if I get this wasp. Nice manipulation mark out with the wasp out. So you didn't even... sorry. Yeah, okay. So you didn't notice that while Vapor was driving around, doing those first missions, taking care of what wasps to spawn and whatnot, and if you do it all right, you're able to get that back into the school wasp for free. Yeah. So the first major potential time loss here is what we used to call fail glitch. Basically, you think the only way to fail this mission is by having the green bar on the top left for an hour. This is not true. <laughs> if the bar is around a quarter and the sedan drops a pill, you will fail a mission for what can feel like no reason. Which didn't know why for ages until we first engineered the game. But the more infamous part of this mission is something we call two cycle. So usually what you'd expect is that it drops all ten drops and then you can do the mission. However, there's an area near the end, around the eight to ninth drops, where if it's going too fast it can miss a drop. And if it does that, it has to drive around the whole loop again yeah. before it can drop it. It loses about, about one and a half to two minutes. Yeah. I believe the areas for the eighth and ninth drop overlap, or ninth and tenth, one of those two. Something like that. So you can drop the ninth drop before the eighth. Here's another pretty trivial escape portion. This one we actually used to take a shortcut for ages to the left there, but it's slower. Loses a second. One of the small advantage of the Malibu is you get out on the right, which saves a bit there, and your physics are a lot better. Like, for example, for example yeah, with the canyon now, I might have flipped over there, but at least this car is much more stable. So it just works out better. Here is the second unskippable cutscene that we run, and hopefully the last one. Watch. Yeah, this is roughly the halfway point of the run. So it's one of like post splits and speedrun general. You can probably squeeze the donation here. Sure. I have a six dollar and ninety cent uh, donation from Swag saying, "Ako." Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Just <laughs> admire the Spanish voice acting here. It's amazing, isn't it? You should hear French Marge. French Marge is uh, something to behold. Yeah, French Marge sounds like she has chain smoked her entire life. It's very epic. So we're going to be main manual pink. This is for two reasons. First of all, wasp like usual. And second of all, main manuals give you back the default car of a level. And while the Malibu is fast, and there's a mission coming up soon where we have to destroy a few cars and the Malibu is not going to be Whereas the canyon there is pretty strong. Mm. Purchase fair. But we just lose that mission because it's just outside the, bar the bedroom. Save like half a second. That was also a little skip there. Usually, after you talked about, a screen comes up saying you need to buy police. But if you get to the clothing booth like fast enough, you can skip the screen and save like a second. Yeah, it's pretty cool optimization. 
this mission is also another on foot mission. It's pretty nice, so let's focus on optimizing other parts of the game. Especially you're seeing other categories such as 100% with on foot movement has a lot of depth to it and optimizing for coin pickups. You can use a lot of time to top run as well, and just like not having good lines. And there's the roof jump, there's a bit of collision on the side there, which you can jump off to skip the thing at the bottom there. Fun fact, this doesn't work in Homer 1. Uh, if there's a material mod, it's there in Homer 2 as well, but for some reason it just doesn't exist there in Homer 1. Even though it should be a copy paste. So this mission is another contender for the hardest mission in the game for very similar reasons. This is what I consider to be the hardest. Definitely. Mark Simpson, at tu servicio. Yeah, multiple cars to destroy. It's pretty difficult you? strats. And Canyon Arrow. Oh, nearly got polar stuff there. Did I spawn the wasp? I don't think so. Oh, I did. Okay. Keep that in mind then. The reason why I'm paying attention to that is a wasp manipulator later on in this mission. But I have to pay attention to a wasp I spawn. This is not a good backup. Um, where can I get him here? That is an excellent question. <laughs> um, okay, that works. <laughs> I've seen this Jump is pretty heavily affected by frame rate. Luckily, on 60, like pretty consistently get their box. Second truck. Hopefully, the sun goes well. Oh. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to spawn the wasp earlier, so I got to get this freebie, I think. Unfortunate. It's fine, my coins are good. Oh. <laughs> Last truck, hopefully this one gets well at least. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think the last truck is that the strat is probably the easiest out of three, but it's also the worst one to mess up. Yeah. It, okay, I got it back. There's like, there's like no backups. There's no one backup. Backups. Oh yeah, there's one, which you just press it into the barn. But apart from that, there's not really any backups for this one that are fast. Yeah. So we're finishing up Marge here. Say goodbye to the canyon now. <laughs> yeah, we're heading into probably the hardest level in the entire game. Yeah, definitely for me, Apu. Oh, before that, quick quick escape. We mentioned earlier how interiors are stored at the bottom corner of the map, so we can very easily use it to escape from here. Just to finish the mission. Nice. So this mission's kind of unique and that it places you really far away from the actual mission start. You get like a nice little tour for level before it starts. Yeah, you, go. Sorry. you go. Yeah, we've, um, there's been a few conversations about we've been trying to find ways to potentially skip this drive, but um, there's still no way in ASM anyway that's worth it. 
there's a few ways you can get out of bounds, like in any sim we allow a trick called time skip, where we hold down the game window, it freezes the game, and if you do it right you can pass through certain walls. And then there's also a strat you can do with a car in part one, you press from go, which is the limo. If you stay and also the fire truck. Yeah. If you stay tuned to the click chat exhibition later. I was gonna share yeah. enough there. Uh... Yeah. You will see. These just had a nice opportunity to pick up the outfit needed for a few missions mm. time. That's also a very common place to make a mistake because the outfit isn't the first one in the menu. And we've seen many a runner, probably including the both of us, purchase yeah. the wrong outfit at some point. Yeah, I think my first one got it wrong. Oops. Yeah, Marge is another con place buying classes instead of police. Like, usually you'll sort of have the coins to buy the outfit, but then you've got to waste time going back to other levels, getting backup coins. Yeah. It's very slow, buying the wrong outfit. This is the end of the follow mission. Probably the most difficult one. Mm. It's very easy yeah. to make like two big mistakes and fail because of it. The truck kind of just goes. It doesn't stop for anything. Yeah. There's two big spots here where I'll be looking my camera back. It just stops the truck from getting stuck. Oh, a monorail and the fire truck. Also, similar to Wolves, this is also another mission that can two-cycle, although it's very, very uncommon. It's, I believe it's the eight night drops again, around the front of the town hall. Yeah, I've never had it drop... in run. Yeah, it's very, very rare, but it's oh, a no. thing that can happen. Not this Off... one. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Our ASM tournament we had last year. We're all waiting, seeing, wondering who's going to get the first 4-5-2 cycle. And the first 2 cycle of the tournament ended up being a 5-1-2 cycle. Yeah. <laughs> Which was insane. Pretty nice mission. Club Social de Empresarios Legales. Por lo visto, hago una casa pini petilán. Va a entrar en la mafia. Hola, este... This next mission is definitely the easiest mission, but after that, we're heading into probably the worst mission in the entire game. Yep. A notorious run killer, known only as Baby Man. Which we still don't understand, to be honest. Yeah, going to that when we get there. Firstly, we get to purchase the best vehicle. The car built for Homer. Or Kotche Heck or the Incargo Power Ome. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, so baby van. This. this Car's driving is very inconsistent. It can either be perfect or just constantly spinning around in circles. No idea how to drive. Let's see which one it is. Provided I don't trap him here. Ah, uh, never mind. This is on the damn side, I think. So ideally, we want to get it stuck. We can get all the drops fast. But more often than not, you're just chasing Baby Van round this area of the map, losing loads of time. Yeah. It'd be like 20 seconds, maybe 30. It's the biggest time muscle my BB I know that much. Ah, so for, just, for just such a short mission, it's got almost the, some of the biggest time loss potential. Well, it's, just, it's awful. It's so bad. Yeah. Not even when we reverse engineered the game, I think, could we find a solution. 
I say we reverse engineered. I mean, most of it was done by Dyke of Elder Lava. This wasp of a try. Okay, whatever. Five was a pretty bold standard mission. Nothing much going on. Collect the donuts and then you don't lose with them. Yeah. Although very easy to fail. I think I was saying earlier about RASM tournament, we had about at least a dozen fails in this mission. Probably even more, maybe close to 20. Okay, nice wasp there at least. Yeah. We can use Wiggum driving around the area to get a few coins. I don't want to jinx it, however, there is a random chance of crashing when you enter the highway here, because I think just Wiggum's lights can overwhelm it. It's only happened to me once and very recently. I'm just now living in fear, everyone, of it happening again. Mm. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah. I did have a backup save, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Wicked Morse kind of just goes, so it's one of the easiest follow missions to fail. Mm. He is zooming. This block is like 180 oh, no. turn as well. If traffic gets in your way, you can definitely get away easy. Yeah. The traffic in this game gets progressively more annoying. Like, look at Mars, we had the garbage truck to deal with. This level, we've got both ambulances and both Quibi trucks. In part two, we've got an even bigger truck. So, this is another follow mission. However, this one is quite a bit slower and much worse at driving. <laughs> So we have to babysit this one quite a bit. That's a pretty decent turnaround, all things considered. If you just let it be there, you can take a really long time turning around. Loses a lot of time. This mission in gem was really hard to optimize, like, compared to Liquid for record holder, this is probably most people's biggest time loss, myself included. I lose 20 seconds to my best. Yeah. Ideally, oh. the optimal way to do this is to keep looking at your camera back, but I don't want to <laughs> ruin people's eyes with that. There you go. So, um, so most of the time loss does come in this kind of follow section. But yeah, there's also. So, we have the monorail coming up. The monorail is a lot of coins. And ideally, in runs, we're aiming to try and skip as much of it as possible. Because it takes about 12 seconds to pick up the entirety of monorail. Usually, if you have around 350 to 400 coins, you're pretty safe to skip almost all of it. Yeah. I would not be it's aiming nice. to skip it here. Ooh. But it's a nice time save, top level. Yeah. Uh, this was. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say Gun just sits here, but he decided to be annoying. Please come down, buddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was thinking about wasps get progressively more. What's the word? I like to move around a lot more. Yeah. The erratic, that's it, yeah. As you'll see in Homer 2. I mean, you won't see much in Homer 2, actually, but the wasps in Homer 2 are not very well programmed. They can very easily fly out of bounds. It's really annoying. Up these drops. This route has changed uh, not much over the years, just one small octave. Nice drop. 
Yeah, but it's never happened before. That's the cool hit say. Congratulations, you can officially get your badge. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, this is the little optimization that people talk about. Usually we turn off to the right, the first right on the highway, and take that way, but if we just go straight on, we go over the jump, and do a little reset the car, it's actually very slightly faster. Yeah. I was actually talking about a drop order, but like, well, it might have been several years ago now, but I think about it. Hmm. I need to get for box for The order of picking up the drops has pretty much stayed yeah, the same. Like Every year, there's a slightly different route we do in NG Plus, but that's about it. Oh, yeah, Brook Skip is the best strain in the entire game as well. No question. It's very based. Star you, can only do, sorry, you can only do it on 60 as well, though. It's not doable on high FPS. Yeah. So now we have a pretty, pretty difficult start back to back. First of all, just armor truck. We have a really oh tough God, shock to destroy using snake's car, which is not very good. Well, it's it's fast, it's not very good at destroying stuff. So, ideally we want to avoid killing it manually. I'll kind of show you the alternative here, hopefully. conductor! Uh, um, okay, good. Good. Textbook, let's go, okay. Very nice. So but now I have the armor truck trapped in between those two bits of a monorail, it should drive back and forth and take itself down. And this is one place in my way 60 actually is a pretty big advantage, because the truck destroys itself way faster on low FPS than it does on high FPS. Yeah. And also on very high FPS there's a chance the truck can just stop moving, and you have to go back and get it out, loses a lot of time. Yeah. So you can just see how quickly the red bar's gone up. Okay, we're actually bottlenecked by the truck destroying itself. If I go beyond this fire truck, it'll despawn and stop taking damage, so I can do anything I want as long as I don't cross that finish line first. So let me get a few watts of spare and blow up a car. It's a pretty nice armor truck. And then there's just the second we can escape here, not too difficult. And then we move on to another very hard mission. This is a, this is a never hard mission curator. This kind of has the opposite problem. This truck's pretty easy to destroy, but it's very fast. If I miss the first three opportunities, you can stay more until all of time lost. There's another part about it, which is, once you've destroyed the curator, you need to then drive back to the museum, so the further it gets away from the museum, the further you have to drive back, the more time loss. Okay, hopefully I get him on the wall here. Nice. And now uh, here's the biggest cutscene skip for us. Nice, okay. But well, it's two and a half minutes. <laughs> mm. I would have been very subtly overestimated if I missed that just now. So that right after the adrenaline of hitting three hard strikes back to back, I have a pretty difficult log cycle to make her, hopefully. Oh, Quite a really tough drive. I might have missed already. Oh, okay, that's also a way of missing it. It's not usually the job I guess. 
No pasa nada. Todo para Bart. Oh, shout out to the bolt coming up. Tengo que coleccionar más. Mío, todo mío. Oh, okay. This is an unfortunate hit and run situation. I, I've actually explained that. Basically, every time you hit a pedestrian or an object, the bar in the bottom right fills up. And then that fills up, the cops spawn and try to get you. If they do get you, you lose 50 coins. Yeah. I'd actually skip a box there to avoid that, but it's fine, my coins are good. Nice. I'm gonna bully Kani. <laughs> I just hit him very slightly closer. So there's another purchase for Globex. This is another really solid car. It's also the most expensive purchase of the whole run at 600 coins. Oh yeah, it is, huh? There's only one more purchase to go, which is the zombie car in level 7 for 500. Yeah. This is another follow mission. Gun Jesus, there's an opportunity to get a few vents. You saw I kicked that vending machine twice. Spruce mentioned earlier about how coin grinding works. If you like kick a box twice, you can get the coins, but it'll not stay broken. Until you get over the area. The old strat for this mission was to you take the route the vapor is doing, and when you dr you drive past the studio, you stop at it, and you get a box that's inside. But this new method was recently popularised by a person who unfortunately wasn't able to make commentary today. Axi Tim One Two Three, hope they're doing well. But yeah, they popularised the grind method, and it's actually a few seconds faster as well. And it's slightly fewer, if not the same coins. It's like a very slightly less coins, but it saves 3 seconds, so it's faster overall. And generally, if you can afford Globex, you'll find for the rest of the run anyway. Yeah. You can leave Bart 2 with like 350 coins, and you'll be fine if there's so many you can get in 7 1. Yeah. This is another 2 minute auto scroll. This is probably the last major downtime in the run. So like, this is like, your last chance to plug a few things. Hopefully in 2 minutes. The thing stops getting stuck there. I'm a plug Archie fan. <laughs> so, people might be here and being like, Celeste Community, why is there a Simpsons hit and run on this channel if it's Celeste Community? And that's a great question. And that's because this is Archie-thon. Uh, we're a speedrunning marathon that's hosted by Celeste runners. Uh, we play unique Celeste categories and modded content, as well as a variety of other games that are not Celeste. Um, Archie-thon is being hosted right here on Celeste Community. Uh, and Archie-thon 3 Ascension is featuring 50 plus runners of uh, Celeste speedrunners and community members showcasing that variety of uh, modded content and other speed games, as well as speed activities. Uh, be sure to follow the channel for regular Celeste content if you are into that, including bingo tournaments, special events, and more. You can also use exclamation point Twitter to follow our Twitter account, or join our Discord with exclamation point Discord. And if you want to see what we have in store for the rest of the schedule, we have all of our commands in the title. We have Schedule, Archie-thon, as well as Charity and Incentives. Please. That's awesome. <laughs> hey. Yeah, maybe we were saying this is an auto-scroller. It is an auto-scroller unless Frink does stuff like this. This is the worst thing I've seen in a while from Frink. This is another follow mission we used to get a lot of coins. Since there's not much else to do. There's a vending machine here, which is kind of tight, but I should be fine. Known in the community as the uneventful mission. As we we had a race where it was People named it that. The commentator said that this is the animal mission. Go off, do what you want. Uh, this, 
race ended up with both players failing this mission. Yeah. Right in, in, like in deep, really deep into it as well. Professor Free. So now we're back to having a few pretty difficult missions back to back. This is the first, which is Duff Truck. This is a really fast Duff Truck. We have to follow and get a few drops out of. And it can very much go wrong quickly if you miss a few initial a few spots to hit it. Yeah. Also, a pretty difficult drive here. There's lots of traffic. So ideally, I want to get ahead of the duff truck and trap him by the tap shop. Nice textbook. Five, six. Yeah, tap shop. Now, two pretty inconsistent freebies. I don't rely on these, but it's nice to get. Nice. But this one never works. The second one only works when your coins are super good. <laughs> and you don't need it. Attention, conductores! Autostopista de 10 años necesita que lo recojan! Okay. Director Skin! Por mi chachi! So this is Skinner, this is a kind of difficult destruction mission, which can also go very wrong if you miss the main thing. This was a pretty important reason we need to get strapped to explain in just a minute. Nice. Yeah, Skinner blows up against this wall, and right behind this wall is the coin room. And during the destruction, he'll destroy a box and a vend. Sometimes two boxes and a vend. Yeah. And just helps out with coins so much. Saves time picking the up later. So this is Death to Kill. This is pretty infamous for being one of the hardest missions in the game casually. We're going to abuse that. <laughs> or at least the beats the time are pretty hard. Like, firstly by skipping a few drops here to get them on the way back. Yeah. This is probably my favourite mission in the game, which is the very high focus on high speed driving and tests a lot of your general driving skill. This mission is very fun. It's also been to a few little changes, like just the order you pick up the stands, really. Yeah. For the most part, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. If you drive well, you'll make good cycles with the log. I got the fast um, cycle on the way up, hopefully the way down to, yeah. Here's another, this is kind of difficult jump. I've seen a few people fail it because of it. Yeah, pretty clean that's cool. Now we can use the mission clicker to run into this coin room without much time loss. And, oh, yeah, he said he got two boxes. Okay. So if your coins are really, really good, you can just ignore these coins altogether, but they, these are pretty fast coins to collect either way. Yeah. On 60 with that bird jump, it's pretty hard. Yeah. I swear, he, keep, he keeps saying vapor. Yeah. So this is a pretty difficult face. He just generally has good driving. Mm. But hopefully he will pick up a box hey, for us on the beach, which helps him to clean out a bit. This is also the final cutscene skip of the run coming up to. Yeah. 
This is what I'm missing most, by the way. Nice. Two paws. Yeah. So this is the point in the run where you like, do the math, figure out what coins you need to reach 500 by the end. And after this is Zombie Car, the last purchase of the run. After you buy the Zombie Car, it's all, all gameplay. You don't have to worry about coins at all. Yeah. Oh, this is spooky. This don't be apocalypse happened. Mm. Just completely skipped over the plot. Yeah, TLDR, evil cola, makes people go crazy, causes dead to rise from grave, aliens are evil, etc. You can fill in the rest yourself. Yeah, this is also a level that's gone through a lot of changes recently because this level is completely broken for the fact that there's various places you can get out of bounds, which saves various amounts of time between missions. Yeah, because the home of T isn't fully complete. It kind of like yeah. broke it off. It's like you can't really do like a full loop of this map because it's blocked off at either end. The zombie car time. 23 coins over. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. That's quite a few. And also with the out of bounds, there's also different out of bounds you can do depending on what FPS you play on. Yeah. Um, so the way most of this level works is you have race missions, where you have to carry race from the power plant to the school, and this race is pretty finicky, so if you hit any car or object or wall too hard, your race explodes, and you have to get back to the power plant to pick it up again, which leads to a lot of time. We're going to be skipping most of those drives later on. It's like every, apart from the first mission level, it, that's pretty much every single mission. Is either you're driving to the school from the power plant, or you're driving to the power plant from the school, or you're doing both. Yeah. It's a very boring level, casually. But it is like really fun to run, personally. Yeah. It's, a, it's really good to speed run. I kind of lost out this follow mission because it's at least special part, but it went pretty well here. Yeah, we're coming up to the first out bounds. <laughs> seven three. Oh, where's that gun start? Soy okay. una cruel y despiadada máquina de correr. No ves que estoy conduciendo? Okay, out of bounds time. No conduzco el nuclear, pero si este nivel me aburre. Estaba ti. Mira alegre. Let's see if I get this. <laughs> Don't go first person, please. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> this should be fine. Nice. On 60, it's much more lenient. So we get out of bounds. So if you think of the home of two map shape as being kind of like a capital C, the school is one tip and the power plant is the other, so we're skipping the huge drive around the map. It saves us around 30 seconds each time we do it. And ideally we want to preserve our out of bounds state as much as possible. So I'm not going to warp to the next mission or restart anything since they'll reload the area. Make us do it again. <laughs> so first things first, I want to get my car back, so I'm going to start this race, which warps me into my car. Just cancel it, since I don't want to do it. Yeah. yeah. Not warping to the mission, just getting out normally to not reload the area. Bueno, ya era hora. 
And now, because the area is still deloaded, we can skip and never drive around the map. This is probably the coolest sequence for our bounds of these two missions. Yeah. So now, I want to keep this car out of bounds so I can use this later on. I'm going to park this at a weird angle. So hopefully I can access it from the other side. Now you may be thinking, if the next mission is a waste mission, how am I going to get the waste? And the waste is inbound and my car's out of bounds. So basically, if you remember way back when I talked about wasps being active with just teleported around the map when you spawn a new wasp, traffic cars in this game are kind of similar. So basically, if I put the waste on a traffic car, every version of that traffic car which spawns will have the waste. So. It's pan comida! Mmm, pan. Gotta pick up the traffic car here. Preferably the coffin car. Or spooky oh, Greg. Please. <laughs> Hopefully it's a spooky Greg and not a spooky Bob. This just gives the most consistent so now if I leave that car there, it will despawn as I drive further away and go back into the traffic pool. Hopefully when we reach the school, it'll turn up the waste. Hopefully. Are you driving away? Get back here, please. This is always a terrifying jump onto the coffin car. Okay, nice. I think this is... I'm gonna be sad anyway. This is the most consistent way of doing out of bounds, but it is RNG but heavy. Yeah. You can lose a lot of time just from having a bad car spawn. Yeah, it kinda sucks. And now since the area is still deloaded, we can drive out of bounds here. Unfortunately, we can't go straight to the power plant. We need to spawn this alien car to act to get the race to spawn later on. <laughs> so we need to find enough way to get out of bounds. And it, if you recall, I've been playing on 60 FPS this entire run. And on low FPS in this game, with enough speed you can clip through certain bits of soft collision, such as the rails of a bridge. Vapor 41 bridge in the chat. <laughs> this is pretty luck based, but hopefully it works. Usually first or second try. Nice! First try. Very oh, nice. If I drive a bit forward here, I can avoid the triggers to reload the area. And just take the race to ride out of bounds to the end. And skip another drive around the map. And now we'll be entering the last mission, which is another waste mission, similar to this one. So we do need to activate this car to spawn the waste behind us. Really for the fans. Mírame, soy libre como un pájaro. Oh. And we are on the final drive back. There's no good way to keep us out of bounds because the trigger for the race is entirely in bounds. So we get to do this back and uh, normal in bounds driving. So this should be a mid one to make, which is pretty fine for a marathon. Yeah, the good thing about speedrunning this game is that we, we have a load remover, which means that it doesn't matter if you have a slightly less than good PC. As long as you, as long as you can get the game running, 
you can get the loads moved. And yeah, it, it's all about gameplay. Oh yeah, bit 128 loadless. It should be like a very low 129 RTA. Yeah. So, final structure. Aparta o muere. Vuelve por favor, me siento tan solo. Stack it very safe, I don't want to blow up a waist. And GG. Oh yeah, GG. Thank you, Spruce, for helping commentate <laughs> that. No problem. Now I believe we have the glitch ex exhibition. Yes, we do. Eyes oh, emoji. Oh, yeah, it's time, by the way. <laughs> but I paused there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a cut. There is a cut scene that plays here, but you can also skip it. <laughs> so should I start the glitch exhibition whenever? Yeah, if you want to. I have a couple of donations, but I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep us. Okay. If there's time in between glitches, I'm happy to do them there. Probably after the exhibition. <laughs> Sure, yeah, go ahead, go right in. I'm gonna relaunch the game quick to just to have save states, it'll make this a bit easier to show off stuff. Sure. Okay. So I'm ready to start the timer for this one, I feel. For the countdown, maybe. Oh, sure. Uh, Spruce, do you want that, or you want me to do it, or who uh, wants to take that one? Sure, I'll do it if you want. Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. And three, two, one, and go. Cool. So first, I'm going to start off with a few simple glitches, which, like anyone with the game, can do at home. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> so first, think of the first lamppost in this game. I have a pretty unique glitch. If you get inside him like that, Grand the car, you get launched away at very high speeds. Oh my god, I've never seen a launch that big. Oh. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's another cool lot of bounce of school here on the show. Effectively, this little plate set of pole can very easily jump out of bounds. Oh, please. <laughs> Please, <laughs> can do it. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I, I am under the map. <laughs> Very cool. So as Spruce mentioned earlier, the limo out of bounds. Basically, the limo and the fire truck have a unique property where there's certain rules that they can just drive through for no apparent reason. So if I pick it up here. Oh, has visto semejante bochorno con cuatro ruedas? Eh, podrías llevarme? Get in the car challenge, impossible. So this is usually fence collision, so I wouldn't be able to pass through it. However, the limo can kind of just oh, do this, go out of bounds. And for example, you could do this to skip a drive at the start of 5 1, like we do in certain categories. So very nice, mm. easy out of bounds. So now another thing. So each ledge in this game has something called a jump zone, which kind of like releases your physics to let you uh, get a bigger boost. However, these jump zone glitches get taken away when you drive out of a trigger. If you get pushed out of a trigger by another means, you keep that jump zone glitch effect. So let's say I, I push home this car out here, using a traffic car. Yeah, you, you can see the physics are incredibly wonky. I, the top speed is, yeah, I accelerate so much faster than the car usually would. <laughs> it's a very funny property. This is actually used for a starting over to a top level. Yeah, you saw in 76 Vapor do bridge clip. On top level, you can park in a certain place and get pushed by the alien car, and you can Attention, use the jump zone in 76. You also lose jump zone if you either reset your car or collect a wrench. Yeah. Speaking of wrenches, <laughs> good transition. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna show you the funny interaction involving them here. 
So I'm gonna blow up this car first. This has to be his life on this. This is only used in one category at the moment, which is called any percent no mission walks. You will see why. So, let's say I fail the mission. Skip. Uh, I'm not sure if this works. <laughs> I didn't realize I couldn't skip that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> so, if you drive into a wrench, you then warp completely across the map like this. We have no idea why. But if I load the Ooh. area, you will see I'm now at the crest of the studios. How do I load the area? Uh. Yep, okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just walked from the start of the mission to the crest of the like that. To the very cool glitch. And now there's another pretty cool glitch involving forced car missions and way to get the car out of the mission. I'm using this as, as an example because you don't usually get this car in the normal gameplay. So just a cool way of getting it. The method I'm doing is very perfect, so I will be using save states just to reduce the. Uh, I must want to fail it. So... I have to put action and pause on the same frame. If I get in the car, it'll show I've done it right. Okay. So I've exited that, like, ghost has to get the car. Now, if I start encounter that, you can see this car, however, I can't enter it. However, if I start the base, which warps me inside the car, I can control this car outside the mission. C car duping. And you'll notice the car has a few weird properties. Basically, the turning on this is very messed up. Like, I could be holding full left here and barely move at all. And Cards are also actually slightly faster than usual. To where this actually got routed into another category at one point <laughs> to these races. And just being slow overall though. Yeah, it's a cool way to get cars out of missions. And now a big one. See, I forgot that crashes the game. <laughs> um <laughs> Thankfully I have safe states on. Never mind. <laughs> it crashed anyway. Whatever, it's fine. I'm using a backup save anyway. Just reload the fire quickly. So now I'm gonna go into 6 7 cutscene glitch. Just a very weird thing with lots of effects. So, if I. St st I'm actually not sure if I can skip this. Hopefully, we'll see. Papa, lo sé. Mola. Sin problema. Mola so, if I fail this mission by getting inside here. If I exit as I skip and just skip the scatine, I end up in a really weird state, so I cannot move. And if I pause, I cannot unpause. You see, like, like I'm trying to do stuff and it just doesn't. So, let me try walking to another level. And you may notice already the exclamation mark above Mole Man is, is stuck in place. If I try to activate it, I am soft locked. The only way to get out of this is tab the game, which forces you to unpause, which lets you move again. And now that mission is stored. If I warp into a car or a, or a building, I will uninstall the mission and be able to start it wherever I want. So if you remember, this mission is a race to Wigan. Yeah. Against the begin to the retirement castle. So let's say I walk out of my car at the retirement castle. For example, by getting out out of my car directly next to something here. This is usually a car. I'll use this. So I walk out of my car. I start the cutscene. And now I get to start the mission and immediately finish it. Get owned with them. Skill issue. Outplayed. <laughs> so I'm going to show another potential side effect of this glitch. 
managing this in Spanish. It's like, this is a scrapbook, you can use it to warp to any mission, which is the cool thing. So now, if I talk to Ralph here, I can store for race as well. So now, let's say I try activating a traffic car, I would be stuck in this cutscene. And now, when I'm in another softlock state, so let's say I walk to a mission from here, you may notice something. I can walk through any wall I want. <laughs> this is another setup of this is actually used in the 100% route for the coin grinding section. It's like instead of walking around here each time, just walk through this wall. It's very cool. There is one side. Well, there is one side effect though, which is ground pounding. Yes. So if my final act, if I ground pound the game, instant crash. <laughs> we have no idea why. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for watching. That is the Simpson to run. I love this game. Go check it out. Lots of little quirks to it. They're very charming. Thanks everyone. <laughs>